This is Todd Owens with Capital Chaos TV, and we're here tonight in uh, Sacramento at the Colony for uh, opening night of the tour. With uh, we have Lily here from Defeated Sanity, a uh, long time coming to the U.S. And uh, thanks for being with us, Lily. And uh, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing well. Uh, we had like four days of like chilling out and practicing at friend's house, uh, met from iniquitous uh, deeds, and just had like a nice welcome in California. And we feel we feel strong. And yeah, it's gonna be good. Uh, it's a big tour coming up. I guess you got like at least 22 dates in the states or whatever, and probably not more than 22 or 23 days. I don't know. You got a yeah, few days in there, but I think it's, tw it's 22. And uh, when was the last time you were in the states? Uh, we did uh, New York Death Fest in like last year. Like was it? Uh, yeah, d uh, last December. Okay, and that was just a one-off show, or. Yeah, that's uh, the only one that happened, you know, it was kind of a bummer to just be there for one show, but yeah, that was that for this time. So, uh, you got a little package tour here, you got you and uh, a couple other bands you want to talk about in, uh, in this nice little 22-day tour. Yeah, I mean, um, uh, I haven't heard too much from the other bands, but um, uh, it's going to be with Skinned and Carnivore de Prosopos. Uh, Good stuff. I'm gonna check it out myself for the first time today, and yeah, we're gonna have the blast. Um, the, another good thing is also the local bands. We also know them over the international scene. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's always cool to. It's a great combination. Now you got some great local bands, and then some great international bands. You guys obviously from Germany, and uh, yeah. I think the other bands are from. Yeah, from here, you know, like, but we know them actually, like we know some of these bands over Facebook and stuff. And it's good to see them like in the flesh, you know. Thank God for social media. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, so, uh, the tour is coming up and then uh, what else uh, recording wise? You guys got new material coming out? Yeah, we do. We actually, all the, all the instruments have been tracked for the whole new album. We just gotta mix it, and we gotta actually write some lyrics for some, some for like three more songs, and then uh, record the vocals. And then, yeah, we can present it to you. And I believe you've been working on it for a little while, right? The new one. Yeah, always like it's pretty much always when the 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 songwriting process. Or let's say if the recording process is finished from from the next from the old. CD, then we're starting, the ideas are coming right away for the next stuff, so, yeah. I don't think it's going to stop when we're done with this one, we're working on new stuff. And so you've had some, uh, I guess, change or movement in the uh, vocal camp, right? Is that true? And what's going on with that? And where are you at with the vocals? It's pretty confusing right now. Like, we've been at this point before, like, just searching and working with um, people that can help out. You know, right now for for the U.S. tour we have this guy Josh Welshnam. He had a one-man project called Autonomy, and I knew him from that, and I knew he would do a good job. The rehearsals that we just had were more than proof of like it's it's gonna be great. You will see. Looking forward to it, and then uh, so still looking for a permanent vocalist, I guess, and maybe on the album or something. Yeah, the the uh, the album that we're that I just told you that we are kind of done recording are still gonna be uh, done by Connie okay. who you saw in Japan because we like uh, yeah we want to bring it to a good end and um, one more album with him on vocals yeah because we were in the middle of the process and then, yeah he had a had to take a full time job it's, it's tough you know but we had now we have to keep looking but we still wanted to finish this product with him because it's yeah and you keep pressing on with the band obviously you're the the original guy or whatever and um how's your father doing just want to ask because he's a big part of why the band is here right uh uh my father yeah oh i don't know if you read but he passed away oh like, i'm sorry to hear that uh, then no problem my apologies yes yeah it's a long time ago but yeah yeah my apologies no uh, what else is up for uh, in you guys after this tour? What's going on? Anything else in the works? Um, yeah, well, I think you have some European dates after this tour, correct? Uh, yeah, we have like two, 
two shows left or something like that. I don't yeah we have some shows lined up actually we're gonna do like some kind of test shows with different singers that we um, yeah want to try out so that's I told you it's like a little bit confusing but it's also like exciting because um, new opportunities new opportunities I guess um, right now we're working with Josh and uh, we're gonna check out some other guys that are a little bit closer you know he's from Rhode Island or something he lives in New York right now it's a little bit far yeah from Germany <laughs> yes um, and you're planning the album this year or would it be a two 2016 you're looking at or what's with the album you're not sure yet I'm kind of sad about it but I think it there won't be any other opportunity than say 2016 okay. maybe early 2016 yeah but that's gonna take a while like we still have lyrics to write and vocal patterns mix everything don't want to rush anything we want it to be like 100 percent perfect yeah it's rush is not good so yeah. i'm uh, right now i'm saying 2016 maybe if it's like if we're like super fast and inspired maybe we can make it 2015 i don't know all right well, looking forward to hearing that stuff um, what else did I want to ask? So what's, uh, how's everything in Germany? Where are you from? And what's life like there and scene and everything? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> like, same old, I guess. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, but like, we're working and, um. <laughs> you guys all have outside jobs and stuff and. Yeah, jobs are taking a lot of in our lives, and then job, girlfriend, and then band. You know, it's, I, I feel a little bit more excited when I'm like on the road, like mm -hmm. see new things. But it must be nice to be touring a good portion, or at least the Western United States. I know uh, U.S. bands and death metal bands and stuff like that big influence on you, right? Growing up, and I'm yeah, sure that's more influenced by European or American bands and European bands, correct? I, that's what I wanted to say like here we feel like home because like the people are more in the like ba back home it's I don't know people are more into a different style I guess it's we're closer to the, 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 the real scene I have the I have the feeling you know true underground here definitely I mean there's true underground in Europe mm -hmm. but but maybe not so much in our style well we always complain over here because in Europe they have all these great festivals during the summertime that we don't have here or whatever but we also have a lot of great local cool little shows like this yeah actually we're gonna play brutal assault okay. that's gonna be a blast i guess i've i've not been there that's in germany or where's that or belgium or that's in czech republic oh, czech, republic. czech republic. republic yeah yeah it's uh there's like you gotta look up the billings like intense like any bands in particular you're looking forward to seeing or um, I'm gonna see Demelik from Finland. Like that's a Classic. nice, nice obscure old death metal band from Finland. You know, it's cool. Um, maybe I'm gonna check out uh, uh, like old, like the new deathcore bands. I don't know. I'm, I'm always trying to mm -hmm. like them. You know, so maybe I'm gonna <laughs> give them a chance. Uh, I'm always trying to like them too. <laughs> it's it's hard, right? <laughs> but um, I'm gonna try. And More metal. Yeah, Cannibal Corpse is playing. Speaking of all metal, you know. I said mall metal. As re that's what my buddy refers to the oh. metal core bands as mall metal in the in the states. We call it mall metal. Yeah, like, I don't know. I, what I always hope is like, they're like because they listen to metal, you know. So I'm just thinking, maybe they're gonna work their ass off one day and they're gonna become like really. There's some good uh, talent there. For sure. Definitely, the sound is like heavy and. Uh, just, I just think the riffs are not very creative, you know, mm. like if you listen to old school metal, it's just, there's a lot of thought behind it, not just facade, you know. I um, always like to ask you about gear, any, any gear you want to talk about, or do you, what do you, you bring your gear over from Germany, are you playing other gear, you're just playing local gear, what are you doing? Local gear, like we, the skinned and, uh, yeah, skinned are gonna, doing the back Their back line. Yeah, and that's fucking awesome. Like, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, it's just awesome that there's a network of metal people that help each other out, you know. Still, we would have loved to bring our own equipment, but it's not so easy. Yeah, I, I can imagine the, the costs to, to bring all that stuff over from... 
your All I'm going to say is it's not the cost, it's something else. <laughs> it's something else? Okay, just yeah. you don't want to lose your equipment or mm, no, it's maybe something I don't discuss here. Okay. All right. Um, well, I think that's all I had for you tonight. I just want to say thanks again. Uh, pleasure interviewing you about 18 months ago in Japan, and it's great to uh, interview here in yeah. uh, California. I'm glad we got to uh, see you again. So thanks to uh, for sure. Is there anything you want to add to Capital Chaos TV people? <sighs> I don't know. If you see this, come to the new fucking show. Yeah, new album by 2016. Yeah, new album by 2016. That's for sure. Maybe 2015. I don't know, but. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be something really special. Some people are gonna be shocked by this because we're like splitting. We're making like a ultra prog side and a ultra brutal side. People will hear solos and clean guitars and stuff. Might be a little bit shocking, but give it a chance. It's gonna be something new. All right. Looking forward to the set tonight. Defeated Sanity.